All right, so hot off the heels of yesterday's video, like I said, I wanted to move into psychoanalyzing my uh, musical creations, basically, because they all do mean pretty much everything to me because they come from me and they come from a place of, like I said, pain, pleasure, experience, uh, intention, whatever it may be, even if it is like a storytelling ish song, which I don't do many of, um, everything I, I, I write comes from like a, a real, a real place that, uh, of some things that I've gone through that I want to express verbally in musical form. So, uh, like I also said yesterday is nothing to lose and nothing to gain, not compartmentalizing myself to wear masks, to be this thing for likes or dislikes in a space. Uh, ultimately it's just truth that matters, my truth that matters. And, um, the reason why I'm choosing this song in particular is because off of the back of yesterday's video, I got some messages from people, which I have yet to respond to. I've just been kind of, you know, just uh, in evaluating, just trying to figure out how I want to respond to, to people. But this one gentleman in particular, um, he responded saying that, you know, one of my most relatable videos was the one from 2019 when I talked about uh, panic and anxiety as mental health disorder um, and uh, depersonalization and things like that. All things that I have personally gone through, personally struggled with. I think to this now to this day, I've learned like what they are, what it is, where it came from. Um, how to deal and I don't think those are what affects me now but it does affect a ton of people still and f will for a long time possibly your whole life but yeah um, mental health issues are like probably the most prevalent thing especially with what we're going through in the world today the world's a mess it's going to continue to be a mess um, you know if you just look around you know that things are kind of strange and still still not right and you know we could go deep into that but that's a whole nother video pretty much but um i do want to say that uh just before we get into this about this this topic and of what this song is all about um i don't sit here to to say that this is the most painful thing or this is the most important thing or this is trumps anybody else's struggles in life we all have our struggles in life um, some more than others, uh, a lot more, like there's a lot of people who go through like some, it's like, it's all real shit. And I don't know what, what your, what your personal hardships or your strife has been, but, uh, I'll let you know that like, I, I feel for you. Um, you know, <laughs> life is just, it's not, it's not simple. It's not easy. It's incredibly complex. And uh, we're working, most of us are working with limited power, limited resources, limited, a lot, just a lot of limitations and um, atro atrocious things can occur to you in, uh, that uh, that will ultimately mentally affect you or physically affect you or anything like that, disease or, you know, people who've gone off to war and they've seen people get blown to shreds right in front of them and they come back and they try to adjust to real life and it's just like, how would you do that, right? Because you've just seen one of the most visceral atrocities occur off the back of ultimately capitalism. But we're getting too deep in, into other th other things. Um, so we have, I bought this speaker a while ago. Um, it's pretty hefty on the bass. So and this is my first time doing this with mic levels and how loud this is going to be. I don't know if this will work perfect or not. So I'm going to err on the side of caution with uh, not blowing your ears off. But I'm going to play the song through and through. We're just going to vibe it. Just let it be because I think that's probably the better way. And then we'll psychologically slowly break it down. And I'll tell you like everything about it because this song in particular, I can place myself in the situation where I wrote it. And that was basically having a meltdown uh before i had to go to work in the shower um so let me 
play the song. So the song is called Evil Things. Um, the intention is to be almost like a catchy, poppy, modern-esque, um, you know, just truth spill about me being in a in a rough mental space at a time and uh you know how how i how i could express that in musical form so we'll play this please oh please i don't want to die yet these evil things they're just all in my head my knees get weak and I'm falling down, yeah It's all in my head, it's all in my head Heart is beating harder, yeah, it's racing Hands are getting sweaty and I'm shaking Getting blurry and I'm fainting I'm anxious and lately Heart is getting harder, yeah, I'm breaking Down, I'm on the ground and now I'm praying Lord, save me, I'm saying That please, oh please, I don't want to die yet These evil things, they're just all in my head My knees get we can all fall in time, yeah. It's all in my head, it's all in my head. Basically, uh, I wrote that song when I was going through a crazy, like, when panic anxiety was at, at a height and my depersonalization was at a height. And when you're going through this this thing, it you just feel so detached from body and you feel as if you are, like, I don't even know how to explain it. If you've been through it, you'll know what I mean. But uh, basically ruminating circular, cyclical, irrational fears and, you know, having to go face the world when you don't feel in a mental space where you can go face the world because you're about to... It's just when you... Just when you're being, when you're standing up, you just... Everything, like, you feel like you're about to pass out and you just feel so strange in your body... And um, it's for no explanation other than yet you, you don't even really know what. So I wrote this song uh, a few years back when I had to go to work and I felt this way and I was like, I don't know how I'm going to get through this shift. I don't know how I'm going to get, get uh, even just, just, get myself up and to work to be honest with you and uh i went for a shower and it was like you know an hour before i had to go me hour hour and a half before i had to go and having my eyes open was was making everything worse and just because you feel so strange and so i'm in the shower i'm leaning on the wall um i'm just in it i'm in the shits 
uh, with my interior mental self that is not doing great. And, um, and, uh, I'm just like letting the water run. I'm leaning on the wall and it just, it just starts coming to me that like that I was trying to like, like make a, a, a mantra to, to save myself from my, my irrational, like fight or flight depersonalized response that I was going through this, what, you know, it's, it, just whatever that is and i can't explain it it's an intangible thing and that's the thing about mental health is it's a completely intangible disease that that people discount and don't believe and it's like the most frustrating thing ever but it's really shit uh when you go through it um so anyway so i'm, I'm leaning on the wall and i just i'm i'm like wolf of wall street in it uh, matthew mcconaughey but at this time i was i had no sense of humor about it and i was just trying to get myself through like that mantra just the the please, the please, oh please, I don't want to die yet. These evil things, they're just all in my head. My knees get weak and I'm falling down, yeah. Uh, falling down, yeah. It's all in my head. It's all in my head. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard it. Um. So yeah, I was just like, you like in that moment, you're you're begging and pleading with almost like a higher power to be like, just like, save me from this feeling right now. Like I just, I need, you know, I need, uh, to just, 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 you know, pull me out of this. I'm just asking for like your strength from, from a higher source or even from yourself in that moment, just trying to talk yourself out of it, trying to mentally get yourself out of it. So it's like, because you're ultimately fearing death because your anxiety is coming from irrational places of, for a lot of people, it's, uh, uh, health anxiety so you when you when you have a, a detachment from from your previous like physical character like when you believe you're the story that you've been told then that's a whole nother video but um you you start to to realize that you have actually no autonomy over your anatomy and that it all could go awry or pete tong in any moment like it, it could all just like your heart or your like anything could just screw up right and so you have a fear of death of course because we all do because we live in a giant puzzle mystery um but um because of that fear of of death and the lack of control over your anatomy um in its autonomous function you feel helpless right and then so when your mind goes to that place, you're like, you just ruminate and you start to like create things that are wrong with you. And then you go into the fight or flight. And, uh, and then in winter in the fight or flight, that's when shit gets, gets kind of messy. So in terms of how you're handling things and in terms of being able to, to get up and go do the things you need to do, because you don't feel like you can go do that. You don't have the confidence in your body to go do that thing uh when you were like just ignorant before of anything and you were just moving through like ha 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 everything's great like da, 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 like i can do all of this because i don't have these irrational fears so let's move into the verse um maybe i'll just play a little chunk of it so it's like what is it late lately heart is beating yeah so lately heart is beating harder yeah it's racing Hands are getting sweaty and I'm shaking. Vision's getting blurry and I'm I'm fainting. I'm anxious. So that's what it is. It's just those are those those uh, bodily things that occur in fight or flight. And you just and you, you're sitting in that and you're like, uh, uh, and you have to like accept it and it just feels weird and you're clammy and you're you're sweating. You feel like you're about to sh you're about to pass out and just shit like that. Um, these evil things oh. <laughs> missed it a little bit oh no <laughs> hands are getting sweaty and i'm shaking vision's getting blurry and i'm fainting i'm anxious and lately heart is getting harder yeah i'm breaking Yeah, so lately, hard is getting harder, 
right? So if you've been through it and you're struggling and you're trying to like, you're trying your very best and then it, all of a sudden life smacks you with a, it gets worse. So hard is getting harder now. I'm, um, now uh, hard is getting harder now. I'm breaking down. I'm on the ground because what happens when you break down, you end up on the ground. And now I'm praying, Lord, save me because, and then my mantra again of, that moment in the shower, the, the, just the, the, please, oh, please, I don't want to die yet. These evil things, they're just all in my head, right? So that could, you just trying to convince yourself, getting yourself out of it, saving yourself in the moment and almost like praying to a higher power, right? So we'll skip that and then we'll go into the next verse. Uh, psych. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, psycho, how you feel when you're caught in the cycle, because you remember times in your life or wherever where you were like, oh, like I didn't feel like this. Like I, it was, I was all together, everything was good. But now it's like what, how I feel inside and how I may present to the world, it's like psycho how i feel when i'm caught in the cycle because it does it like it is a cycle and sometimes you can break that cycle and like through like cognitive behavior stuff you can you can get back to yourself when you find understanding and and release your uh, your fears of ultimately death and control because a lot of anxiety and panic comes from control and lack of control so how I feel when I'm in the cycle. Make me wanna go and load the rifle. But at the same time fight for my survival. Okay, make me wanna go and load the rifle. Uh, but at the same time fight for my survival is like that to me in that moment was like, you know, I wanna go load the rifle. I wanna just I want the shit. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> right? Like, and, and mainly because I can't bear this feeling any longer. So it's like, I want to go load the rifle. But at the same time, as like a metaphorical tool, I also want to use that rifle as a tool to, 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 uh, to fight for my survival against these demons, against these, these, these evil things, these evil thoughts, these, you're right. I'm I'm fighting back for my life in that moment with with the right. <laughs> Almost had a tear with the rifle. So it's like, it's just that dualistic battle of like, do I stay or do I go, and how much longer can I fucking deal with any of this? I'm liable to go psycho. Obsessive and compulsive of my vitals. So obsessive and compulsive of my vitals. I told you guys this in this in the thing the other day when my body. I I used to obsessively check my heart, my my pulse, because when you're in health anxiety and when you're in heart anxiety, especially when you think something's wrong with your heart because you've had a pan panic attack and that makes you think something's ultimately wrong with your heart that the doctors missed and da da da, da all this thing, you 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 can develop a habit. And I did, I, I obsessively used to check my vitals and these are my, you know, that's one of your vitals. So obsessive and compulsive of my vitals. I'm stressed out now my pulse is going wild. So I'm stressed out, my pulse is going wild. That's, a that's the fight or flight response. That's like the constant adrenaline or whatever it is that's like in your butt because you're under this like, you're under this panic stress mode and it's constant and it just, it doesn't, stop it just and so you're you're just you're, yeah you're in that it's been this way since I was just a child, child and I know that and so once again my mantra but it's been this way since I was just a child I had my first one at 11 I can remember it completely and totally from that time on I didn't really have it until I was I want to say what age I think I was 22 when I had my first full on um my full on uh like transcendence into my full conscious awareness of being the observer 
um, uh, not believing the character that you've been told once again, a whole nother video. Um, understanding that I'm like, I'm energy occupying a vessel and, uh, and uh, and that, that you know that this is all temporal and and that this character this this name that I'm attached to these numbers and all this stuff it's it's been enforced upon me at a time from when I was birthed in, into a, into a registry to to create a character for the world so you can exist in the world in the world of commerce um, but uh, it was done unwittingly through ignorance and <clears throat> ultimately. Um, you know, we can get into this in another video, but, uh, maybe I'll just leave it there because that could be a more interesting video, but there's a lot of truth to that. Um, you, you are ultimately a, a living man or woman first and foremost under God. Um, after that you are basically property of state, but, uh, only if you, uh, uh, agree to that uh, if, if you authenticate that and understand that as to be a truth which it isn't but when I that's a whole nother video anyhow what I'm really saying is uh, when I had my switch on at 22 uh, pe some people want to call it spiritual awakening whatever it is I just call it like the dissolving of the illusion more or less uh, and so you so you go through that anxiety and that panic because when you're that young and you're coming out of an illusion, you're now uh, hyper aware of all of this stuff before that you were like, whoa, 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 wait, wait, none of this is like what I thought it was. All of this is like I've been, I've been, I've been under under this spell the whole time, and then you become like aware of everything about yourself. Um, and like I was saying earlier, you just become, you just stop living in this ignorance and this naivete. And, and so that initially is very frightening, but when you learn to work through it and you understand that it is your power, like truthfully, that's your power in life is to be switched on to, to understand these things, to no longer live in that illusion. Um, then you can find power and then you can find solace in not stressing about those things because we're all just stardust and we will return to the stardust. All of this is temporal. N none of this is ours. We don't own any of it. These are just tools and things we use to, to uh, create a, uh, a usury experience uh, through this body while you're here. So, yeah, that's ultimately what I learned about panic and anxiety. And when I wrote that song, I was still going through the, the growing pains of not understanding what I now understand. So it's, you know, it's all about progression and things. And when I say what I'm saying about this, um, you know, this could also be just a coming of age thing. Or not, I don't know. Uh, but I do know people older than me who don't understand these things, who don't, who aren't tapped in and aware. They, they, they're really so. It's like I don't think so. I think it comes from a place of um, ultimately just like conscious awareness. And I, I didn't do anything to seek this level of awareness. It like chose me, in a way. So I don't know how to explain it um, in terms of, you know, wh who has it, who doesn't have it, why you have it, why you don't have it. I don't know. But I do know that it feels like it's to, to break out of the darkness occurring in this world that we live in and find, like, light truth like the, the 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 truth in light like thing and i think in what we've been going through in the last while i think a lot of people are finally coming to this light because that's what has to happen it's this natural shift for the ones that the ones that see it all for what it really is and and slowly but surely 
I feel like many people are finally seeing like really what's happening. I feel like there's just this, there's definitely a shift occurring in the world and it's just because of the, the blatancy of it all at this point, even though it's not blatant, like they make it not blatant. They, they make it a, a disguised thing, but, uh, but I think a lot of people are finally coming to the truth and, uh, for me, that's what it's all about at this point. Just truth. And uh, expressing the things that I've gone through in, in, in my life and in, in pain and learning and uh, awareness, just awareness, ultimately awareness. So, yeah, um, maybe I'll release this if you, if you want to. I, I just I don't care anymore. Like I could just release it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm at the point where I just I don't care how it does like. It is what it is. I created it. I made it. If I can put it out and some people listen to it, then that's cool. Because ultimately, I see through the charade of, I, like, I know what the industry is, too. I know, like, to be up in the major ranks, you're just part of, you're just a, you're just part of all the, all the BS, all of the psychological manipulation of, of, of people to just indulge in, in, you know, I dare I say it sinful things, but you know, I'm imperfect in that sense too. And I've, I've, I've had that in my past. And I think, I think I was, I was naive and probably de deceived back then to some degree. And, um, it's a work in progress, but, uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's what it is. It's a work in progress to, to, to truly, switch over to what is just that gut like you just know it's it's you just know what you're what's not cool anymore because everything's about being cool right in that world it's all about being cool so uh yeah i'll probably wrap that here um and take from it what you will because once again we're just operating out of subjective and perception and this is my 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 perceived reality and things that happen to me and and how how it is for me from my small individuated even though we are all part of the same whole individuated experience all right so yeah i'll see you in the next one <laughs> bye love you <ya. laughs>